Hey, my high achieving friends. Put the timer on here. And I am in my plank position. And I am, I help you survey the landscape of your life so that you can move toward the life you desire and make good decisions and make sure you're doing the things in life that you want to be doing. And I have a lot of people asking me, why the plank? What are you doing? Um, the plank position right here, I'm, I'm in it right now. It has been my goal since January. It wasn't even on a list of things to do <laughs> before January. And this position has changed my life, quite honestly. This is, I'm learning so much from this position that um, I'll do my best to make some videos to really encapsulate a lot of the lessons that I'm learning. But for one, I want to tell you why, why I'm doing it. And this might help you guys when you're trying to decide what to focus on, what matters most. That is one of the biggest challenges that people have. Like, what's my purpose? Why am I here? Uh, what's my direction? You know, how do I make these decisions? Okay, so when the plank position, <laughs> this plank pose right here. So I'm on my elbows, I'm on my toes. I don't know if you can see, but my hips and shoulders are even, shoulders back and down. Head should be in neutral position like this, where um, I'm kind of looking up at the camera, so it's a little bit uh, awkward for me to have to speak <laughs> and look at the camera. But, um, and I'm at almost at two minutes, by the way. And I just did a 15 minute just a little bit ago. So um, <laughs> I'm distracting myself. So why the plank pose? I was approached, well, okay, let's, let's take it back a while. I have been a, a group certified fitness instructor for, oh my goodness, going on nine years, I guess, and with the YMCA in Downers Grove. And we had a new fitness director come on staff and never, I never I'm, I'm in and out at 5.30 in the morning with my class. I teach early. I get my fitness in because if, if I don't do it early, I just know me, then I don't get it done. So I, uh, um, I heard we had a new fitness instructor. I don't see many people at the Y because I'm in and out, but I finally got to meet him at a staff meeting in December. And he laid out this beautiful vision. His name is George Hood. And the rumor was he was the record holder, longest plank. You know, what, what is that? <laughs> Never even heard of that before. That man has held the plank position, this position, for nine, nine, listen to this, nine hours and 11 minutes and one second or something like that. Nine hours, ridiculous. And um, I mean, there's nobody on the planet that has held this position as long as him. I personally, like to surround myself with champions. People that, I mean, not necessarily extreme things, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not into extreme, which is part of the reason I'm making this video is because I, you know, I don't do marathons, I'm not a triathlete, I didn't, I've never even thought of myself as an athlete, and now I've been told I'm an athlete because I've been training my body. There was something about that vision he laid out. He wants the, the, this plank pose to be the new marathon. Why not? You know, run for five, six hours. That's pretty extreme. You know, try, you know throw a triathlon in there, you know, swim and bike and all that. Uh, extreme sports, there's all sorts of things people do to an extreme level. They train for them. So I am training for this plank position and it brought me energy so there's a key right there if something is bringing you energy and it's in alignment with your goals because when I looked at I have these nine environments that I always look at that that I'm pushing my not push I don't like the word push I'm stretching myself to get better in these nine environments 
And one of them is health and fitness. And of course, I'm a fitness instructor, but I'm not extreme. I never consider myself extreme or an athlete. And I just exercise because it's the right thing to do to, to keep our bodies strong. And especially if we're living a sedentary life, you know, sitting more at work, sitting while we eat, sitting while we drive. I mean, we're, you know, we do a lot of sitting and not moving. So for me to get my fitness in early in the morning, I'm getting it in. And just slowly with that consistency, I've really got myself into pretty good shape. And so when the plank position came along, it brought me energy and I thought, huh, that's a fun, different way to increase that particular environment of my life, my health environment. So I took the class. He offered a class at the YMCA. There were several of them. So I joined, I hired the coach, and I've been training since January. The longest plank I ever held was a three minute because I figured why go beyond three minutes? And he has given me a reason to go beyond three minutes. I held 15 this morning. Where I, I'm not even gonna look at the clock right now because you saw, you saw me start um, and I have not dropped. I'm getting a little winded. I don't normally talk while I plank, but um, I am not into extreme anything. To me, that is a signal. I'm always looking for red flags. But for me, this has been life changing. The fact that you can hold a position, this is a position of rest, active rest. And the strength, um, the mental fortitude, thank you for distracting me by the way, <laughs> by allowing me to talk to you guys. Um, I'm, I'm holding a nice solid plank here. And um, this came with training. I have, uh, I work consistently at this a um, little bit every day and all the minutes add up. I have a little book I'm tracking and I review. It's fun. It's fun to set a goal. Okay, this, uh, this week I'm gonna do five hours of planking. And then you look at the book, you knock them off. I'm like, okay, if you chunk it down by day, I gotta do 43 to 50 minutes a day to stay on track for that. And um, okay, so you, know, you just think through how you chunk it down enough to make it realistic to make it happen. And then once you make it happen, then you set the next goal and you challenge yourself. Well, okay, if I did five hours in 50 sets, maybe next week let's, let's get that down to 45 sets. And you just keep playing, it's fun. To me, those numbers are fun. Uh, there's other numbers I'm not so excited about, but those numbers are fun to me. And, um, and I've had conversations with my chiropractor. I have a team of people around me coaching me and my, my chiropractor is cool with this. He is um, helping me perfect my form. So is my coach. And uh, of course myself, my body talks to me. My body is telling me what to do, what not to do, when to do it, how to do it, because I'm listening, I'm tuning in. It's really making my brain sharp, focused on this one position. I don't know if any of that made any sense, there's a lot of golden nuggets in there that you can overlay toward the other environments of your life. So if it brings you energy, evaluate it and think, does it fit into my big vision? In my case, it did. I needed a health goal to kind of push me, I hate that word, to kind of stretch me a little. Um, and it, it came at the perfect time. It had good energy, I took it. And it is changing my life. And to be flexible that way, when something comes along, you just do it. Um, making quick decisions, you do it. You reevaluate along the way, you know, hey, <laughs> you, you know, you, that's how life works. You decide something, you go for it, and measure the results. Then go for it again. Make another decision, do something, do it, do something more toward it. Make progress and move toward that life you desire. Okay, I gotta look at the clock. I, if I hold this 20 more seconds, that will be a 10 minute plank. So thank you for listening. Again, my name is Awesome Angie, because I honor the awesomeness in you. And 
I help you survey the landscape of your life so that you can make decisions and be okay with them, run with them, they can change it along the way. There are no bad decisions. Right there, that was 10 minutes. Woo, and then gently going into this child's pose and honor the fact that God has given me this body to even do this. Um, the gratitude is huge. Woo, so thank you for watching. And um, I hope you get some nuggets out of that. I, start somewhere, a minute, 30 seconds. I mean, wherever you are, start and be okay with that. And then you slowly progress as you stay consistent, but you've got to decide to start. You got to decide to do it and just go for it. I mean, plank position or whatever, put it in any part of your life. Decide, do, then debrief and do it again. Decide, here's what I'm gonna do now. You know, based on your debrief, do it again and then debrief. Okay, what can we do better? What worked, what didn't work? And um, it's that loop, that, that cycle, decide, do, debrief and just keep going progress keep moving have an awesome day again this is awesome angie honoring the awesomeness in you